auditory processing disorder is not a problem with hearing, so we start with a negative definition. The child hears adequately, but the brain isn't making use of the auditory information effectively. So what happens is, if anyone out there who's listening to this has ever learned a foreign language, the first thing that happens to you is you have trouble hearing, quote, perceiving some of the sounds. And that's what happens with an auditory processing disorder. A child has trouble perceiving some of the sounds of the language. So a b may sound like a d, and a d may sound like a g. Or the child might be able to hear those differences in a very quiet room. But the second it's noisy, the child's auditory system becomes overwhelmed and they can't discern what someone's saying very clearly. And the way we can tell if a child has an auditory processing disorder when they're young, even before we can test adequately for it, is they tend to say, huh, or what a lot. So mom or dad might say, Billy, run upstairs and get your coat and close the window. It looks like it's going to rain and the child will go, huh? And it's not that they didn't hear, again, it's that they couldn't process it quickly enough or they couldn't hold all the information in mind or it wasn't quite clear enough. So it takes them longer to be able to handle information coming in and it's also harder for them, it's more difficult. Now what it turns out we've learned from this is that in the beginning what that may affect in some children who are vulnerable to language problems is it affects their ability to learn the language. So they're slower to learn to talk or they make speech sound production errors because they're confusing one sound with another sound. But when they go to learn to read in any language that is what we call an alphabetic language where each of the letters represents sounds, the children have a devil of a time learning which sounds go with which letters. And there's a whole host of new research on that by um, uh, one researcher whose name is Betts, another researcher whose name is Terry Bellis, another researcher whose name is um, Nina Kraus, and they're all starting to converge on being able to demonstrate that children with auditory processing disorders, this difficulty not hearing, but with handling the sounds of the language, then causes all sorts of difficulties learning to read, specifically problems with phonological processing, specifically problems with auditory working memory, holding information you hear in your mind, and then also, interestingly, the new research showing that children have trouble with rapid auditory naming. So even naming quickly and easily is difficult, and that translates into problems with reading fluency.